Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this everyday makeup look. I know I've done this before, but back then when I did it, it was actually my very second video I've ever made on YouTube. So looking back at it, I did such a bad job at it and I know I can do so much better now. And also a few little things have been upgraded in my makeup routine. So I just wanted to show you guys for those reasons. Well, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so while this is me showing you how I do my everyday makeup, I'm actually also getting ready for a night out. So I think this video is going to be a combination of a makeup tutorial and a get ready with me. Alright, the first thing on my makeup is going in with my favourite Luna concealer. Um, also, if I keep looking this way, it's because I have a mirror here. So I just apply that under my eyes and between my eyebrows, over here, under my lips and here. I guess it's basically where I want to brighten my face. And then I get my damp beauty blender and just blend it out. Literally, I do the exact same makeup even when I go out because I feel like this is my ultimate most flattering makeup on me But I guess I kind of make it a little bit more intense And then I'm going in with foundation which is the Double Wet Estee Lauder foundation This is in the shade 1C1 Cool Bone I'm just gonna pump this much This shade is a little light for me so I always go in with like heavy contour to kind of even it out Also, I did try using the spatula And I know the whole purpose of using the spatula is to apply like a really thin layer of foundation but I felt that I actually didn't like that I prefer having full coverage so I just went back to doing it with my fingers so just evenly apply it all over the face and just blend it out I use the most product on my cheeks and thinner layer of foundation on my nose and forehead and chin and then moving on to blush I still use the Juicy Punk blusher this is my favorite it's in the shade PK03 okay this is what I do differently now so I do the tiniest dot on the center of my cheeks like this and on my nose as well and just blend that out with my fingers it doesn't have to be seamlessly blended out because we're gonna go in with more blush afterwards I learned this trick from this video where the new jeans makeup artist explained how she does their blush so basically she first gets like a pigmented blush that you want to use on the center of your cheek as like your main color you don't have to blend it out yet and I'm also putting some on my nose then when you have the blush as pigmented as you want it to be you're gonna take your second shade of blush which is going to be Manuti and Lighter and I'm using this blush called Nude Peach by 3CE I'm gonna put some on a bigger brush and I basically use this to soften the edges and this gives the prettiest blush effect ever I've been doing this ever since I saw it in the video I don't go over it in the middle where I put the pigmented color just around the edges of it can you guys see the difference that it made? and just doing the same on my other cheek I literally love blush. It makes you look so cute and girly. <laughs> okay, this is where I'm gonna leave the blush today. And then I go in with my powdering. So I'm using the Rimmel London Match Perfection Loose Powder. I'm just getting my powder brush to first go over the whole face and set my foundation. Just like that. Over my eyebrows, a little bit on my forehead, around the nose and my mouth. And for baking, getting my beauty blender again and just lightly like shift the powder around so you have an even layer of powder. Step on like that and apply it under my eyes. Just a really thin layer. And I don't leave my powder to have any harsh edges so I soften the edges with my powder brush. And we're gonna leave it here to bake until I finish contouring in my eyebrow. All right, moving on to contouring. I'm still using the Mecca Maxima of Judy Contour Stick. I draw a little U shape under my nose, put some over here and here to make my lips look a bit more plump and just right under my jawline to make my jaw look sharper and we're gonna go in and blend it out with a big brush and as I blend out my jawline contour I like to bring some up around the side of my face then I go in with my powder contour which I use the Too Cool For School shading in the color classic and get all three shades and just go over where I just contoured and I also bring this up to my temples and I'm basically doing the same thing with a smaller brush for my nose and my lips. So I'm gonna bring the lighter shade and just go on the side of my nose bridge and over here as well. So that is how I contour my face. And for bronzer, I've had this for so long, so the label's all worn out, so I'm not sure, but it's just like 
the medium color that they have. Oh my gosh, I accidentally used my blush brush. No. This always happens because I use the same blush for bronzer and blush. So like, I can only tell the difference because this one's more spread wide apart. Anyway, so just getting my bronzer blush and just applying my bronzer like so. I put it above where I would have contoured and kind of bring it to the side of my eyes as well and off to my temples again. And then moving on to eyebrows, I'm now using the Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil. I'm just brushing my eyebrows out. I don't do much to my eyebrows. I personally just shape it and just try to make them look as identical as I can. So I'm just filling the top bit in. I definitely prefer a straight eyebrow and kind of making my eyebrows longer and softening out the edges. Oh, I feel like this barrel looks really good. Hopefully I can replicate that on this one. I think I brought that too far in. This brow is always the problem for me. Okay, they're not bad. And then to glue these brows down, I'm using the NYX the Brow Glue. Yeah, these are pretty good and super affordable, but they're always sold out. But these last me ages. All right, now we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm just going to brush off my powder and I kind of go over with the residue left on my blush brush to go over where I powdered because I feel like that's kind of gotten rid of my blush. Okay, this is basically my face makeup done. And before I go in and curl my eyelashes, I'm just going with the Misha Oatmeal Latte. So I just put some on my brush and just apply it all over my eyelid. I bring this pretty far up because it's the base shade. And I'm also going to bring the residue left on the brush to go over under the eye. And then with the Naked Urban Decay Hit Palette, I'm using the shade Source, which is basically the same shade as the previous shade, but just a little darker. And I'm just applying that a bit closer to my lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the shade called Cane, this one here, and use that to make my eyes look a bit more I'm only putting that really close to my lash line and I'm also just shaping my eyes at the same time. This eye look is honestly exactly the same as the eye look I was showing you guys in my first daily makeup tutorial so and I'm just blending that out as well. Okay and this is when I go in and curl my eyelashes before I go in with the glittery shimmery eyeshadows. I use Shiseido eyelash curl up. I feel like it's the best for Asian eyes. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows this but your eyelashes will literally have the perfect C curl if you kind of just clip them in this motion. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Alright, my eyelashes are curled and I'm going to go in with this color called Lumbre from the same shadow palette. It's such a pretty rose gold color. It really flatters my skin tone. I get so many compliments on my eyeshadow look and I think it's because of this color. I'm really applying it in the center of my eyes like so. And then I'm gonna go with more glittery eyeshadow from Mono Eyes. These two shades look really similar but I'm using this light one to kind of go over the glittery shadow before and bring it more up so it's more visible. I think it's so pretty. These shadows are so shiny. I love it. And I'm getting this darker shade to put it under my eyes. And I used to only put this shade right below my pupil, but now I bring it inwards as well. I think my fingers are too fat. I accidentally brought it down way too much. Okay, and time for lashes. For my lashes, I have to have three different mascaras. So I'll show you what I do. For the base mascara, I'm using the Herein Make long and curl mascara. This is the best mascara ever. I bet everyone uses this. And I'm going to get a cotton swab and just put it between my lashes and my eyeshadow because I always get mascara on my eyelid. And here I'm just focusing on elongating the lashes. Okay, this is how my lashes look like after the first step. And then I'm going in with a brown mascara from Peripara Ink Color Cara in the shade 01, which is a dark brown color, and just putting it on my lower lashes. I use a brown mascara for my under eyes, otherwise it makes my eyes look too harsh and I look scary. And I'm not done with my eyelashes yet, but for some reason I like going in with a eyeliner. So I'm really doing a wing at the end of my eyes. So I'm just using the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. I don't know what shade it is, but I used the brown shade as well. Like this. Do you guys see the difference? There's like a tiny bit difference. I'm just doing the same for my other eye. Okay, here is what I do differently now. I now tight line my lash line with pencil liner. I got this from W Cosmetics in the shade dark brown once again. And just going to tight line and just fill in the empty spaces where I don't have my lashes. 
that's done. I feel like this step is just one of those things where only I can tell the difference. Okay, and then finally, the last mascara is the Black Cara Volume from Peripera once again. With this one, I'm just really focusing on the volume. I'm just going to go over the roots. Okay, usually I would stop here with my eye makeup, but because I'm going out tonight, I will show you how I apply these individual eyelashes. Um, I did briefly show you guys in my last daily makeup video, but it was literally nothing. I just didn't do a really good job at actually showing you guys how I do it. So it really doesn't matter what lashes you use for this. Grab any that looks like this. I think I got this from AliExpress or Timu, you know, those stores that sell really cheap eyelashes. And this is the 10 millimeters one. I'm just going to use this random clear eyelash glue that I have and just put some on the lid. And I'm just using a plucker to pick one up and just put it on the lash glue at the very end. And I usually go in with three strands. So I would put one in the inner corner, in the middle and the outer corner. As you can see, I put one there. You can see the one really long strand there. And I'm gonna put one in the end. The one at the front. You have to angle it well as well. If you angle it too upright, the lashes look way too long. But yeah, I think that looks good. It's just a really subtle difference. And it looks so natural. I actually used to do this every day, but now I just can't be bothered. <laughs> and I feel like my lashes look fine without them. But you know, when you want to feel extra pretty, I go in with them. So I'm just doing the same for these eyes. Okay, I'm actually done with my eye makeup now, which means we're basically done with the makeup. So I'm going to go in with a highlighter. I'm still using the Stella highlighter called Kitten. So pretty, isn't it? So I'm just putting that on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose, and the inner corner. And that's it. I don't really put highlighter on my cheek for some reason. I don't really like that on me. And let's do my lips. So right now I'm just using the L'Occitane Powdered Shade Lip Balm. This is the Christmas edition this year. It smells delicious. And L'Occitane actually has the best lip balms. Get the ones in a tube with 5% shea butter. And I'm going to go in with my base lipstick, which is this color from MAC. It's called Kinda Sexy. I don't think I'll ever stop using this. It's just a perfect base color for me. Okay, this is Devoted to Chili Powder Kiss Lipstick. This is going to be my main pop of color for my lips today. I absolutely love mixing these two colors together. Okay, I'll go and do my hair and I'll come back and show you guys my outfit for today. It's actually so cute. I'm actually so excited to wear it. I wanna try to do a cool transition. Maybe I'll just do this. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, I just curled my hair. I'm yet to brush it out and everything because I usually like to let it sit before I do all that. So I'm just going to clean up all the mess that I made while I was getting ready now. And let's just accessorize before I get changed. I'm going to wear this gold plated necklace from Princess Polly. And then for the earrings, I'll just match it with these little gold earrings. And now let's just spray my hair. And as I spray my hair, I'm just going to gently brush out the curls with my hands. And then some more hairspray. Now it's time for outfit change. So for the top, I'll be wearing this little top. I own a lot of tops that I like this vibe, but I just can't get over it. This is my absolute favorite style to wear. And for the bottom, it's this little really cool pleated skirt from Princess Polly as well. But the brand is Lioness, I think. Okay, it's a full outfit. This is actually the perfect outfit to go out in. I think it's so pretty. For the boots, these are my absolute favorite boots from Tony Bianco. And I'm just carrying my sister's little Oroton bag. So I'm all ready to go. I hope this version of my everyday makeup tutorial was a lot better. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.